now at our series Open for Business Main Street. Our Rachel Scott recently visit, visited Ellicott City near Baltimore, bringing small business owners advice from Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran and Kevin O'Leary. We're talking to Kevin live. But first, Rachel, check back in to see how those companies are doing. I'll take your order and I'll box it up for you. Sweet Cascade's Chocolate Shop is just one of the family owned businesses that oh, makes right. up this postcard worthy Main Street. And this town has a whole lot of heart. Ellicott City, Maryland, persevering time and time again after devastating floods. In August, we visited these small business owners to get a sense of how they were coping with the pandemic. We probably had to let go of 80% of our staff. I haven't been able to fully change the website to order online. Needing some help, we brought them a surprise. The Shark Tank guru, Mr. Wonderful himself. Let me help you build your business up. Offering tips to boost sales during the pandemic. But you need to reach people any way you can. Let them know you're in business, you're still there, and you care about safety. First tip, very important for any business. Stay in touch with your customers. Also invest in your product photography and videos. Poor photography sells us sometimes 30% less than the same item well photographed. And include pamphlets with every order. We took our menus and stuck them in every order. It was had a huge impact on sales. Susan Wari taking that advice to heart in her chocolate shop. Sue, so good to see you. It's so good to see you. What was the biggest takeaway for you? I loved the advice he gave us about the menus. We have so many customers that say, oh, I loved this, but I can't remember what it was. And created a new ordering system. Where you can actually look at all the chocolates in the window on display and everything is tagged and it makes it so much easier for them to place their order. And I just couldn't resist a little treat for myself. This all yep. looks so good. Maybe yep. one of those white chocolate. Okay. And let's let's box it up. And there we are. For Good Morning America, Rachel Scott, ABC News, Ellicott City. Thank you. Great job by Rachel there. And Kevin O'Leary is with us now. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us this morning, my friend. And we know Ellicott City, they, they really benefited from your advice. And we have another question from Mercedes in Indianapolis, who owns an online shoe and accessories company. Let's take a look. How long should a business owner give their current business time to grow and develop before they transition into something completely different? What do you think, Kevin? You know, th there's a pretty good rule of thumb on this. If you can't make money over 36 months, that's three years, you don't have a business, you have a hobby. 80% of businesses in America really struggle to find the right level of advertising online to acquire customers economically because there's no you know, barrier to entry anymore. You start a business, you've got to figure out how to acquire customers in a way that you stay profitable. Otherwise, you advertise your way into bankruptcy. The answer is 36 months. If you can't make money, just a hobby, not a business. 36 months. I like that. Now, all small business owners... They, they need to be prepared in case the pandemic causes more widespread shutdown. So what should they do now to prepare, Kevin? Number one, upgrade your Internet connection. There is no question we're going to be in this pandemic situation for another 12 months. It's going to take a while for this vaccine to roll out. Your Internet connection is your contact with the world and your customers, and you want it to be as good as you can get it. And by the way, there's lots of deals from cable companies providing that. Number two, upgrade your website. Better photography, better videos, better storytelling, better descriptions of your products. Those things really matter. And number three, offer deals. Buy two, get one free. Make a reason happen, particularly going into the holidays, for someone to actually make a purchase decision. Make them an offer from your heart, from your family to theirs. Even big businesses are trying to do that. But small business can really make that credible. You're trying to help people right now, and everybody needs help. And you know what? We appreciate your help, my friend. Always great to see you. And um, have a great day, my friend. Take care. All right, you too. And you can catch Shark Tank tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC. I always learn something when I watch Shark Tank. They are fantastic. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.